Dad, when you came out of the surgery, you were incubated and out. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember? And I was at the hospital for three days, sleeping yeah. on the chair. Yeah, yeah. And then finally you woke up and you're like, like this. And so I brought you a pen and paper. And you remember what you wrote? No. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I knew that you were perfect. You know, this so, is no, I know, but I think there's a thing of like, when it gets too close, you push it away. Yeah. No, no, the fuck off is not pushing it away. It is just opposite. Because mm. so this is, again, the Serbian culture where I grew up. Because every second word is fuck. I mean, that's how you start conversation. Why is that? Because that's how you establish intimacy. Intimacy, yeah. Fuck off it to really getting very close. What has changed since the last time we did the end? Well, it's been five years. And you've had your surgery, and you're much healthier, much stronger, much more vital. And I have two kids now. Right. I'm a father. For me, is that uh, I was really dying at that time because being on dialysis, people gave me three years to live. And this transplant really gave me life. I feel young, full with energy, back to work. I don't feel my age at all. I mean, uh, I, as a matter of fact, I'm getting younger by the day because I work harder now. And so the more I work, the more I contribute, the more I'm valid, the more I am needed, the younger I feel. Mm -hmm. When do you think, when do you think I feel closest to you? I think that you're closest to me when I'm in pain. When I'm not... You think I feel closer to you when you're in pain? You feel close to me. Okay, when I'm in my head, I'm not accessible. Right. When I'm not in my head because I'm in pain, when I'm wondering and I don't know what to do, when I'm weak, you feel close to me. Yeah, no, it's not when you're weak. But I think you think... See, that's interesting. Y your equation right there was if I'm vulnerable and weak, therefore I'm open. That's right. It's not true. I interpret the question as, when I'm more available for you to get closer to me? That's what I interpret right. the question. No, but do you see how problematic that is when, in order for you to be open, you have to be weak. In order for you to be open such that I can be close, you have to be weak. But, you say because you're... When yeah, you're... and it stems from the following thing, son. Uh, is that when I'm in my head, I'm not that open in my head. But you interpret when you're not in your head, as being weak. Do you see that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. That's the, that's the challenge. And for me, frankly, when you're weak or not is not when I feel closest to you. When do you feel close to me? I feel closest to you when you see me. I see you. I tell you, when do I see you? I'm trying to explain to you when I see you. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Is when I'm not thinking, when I'm not in my head. Yeah. Then my heart opens up, and now I can see you. Just feel know, what's Dad, going on. You about. tell me this so many times, and when you don't lecture me and you just be with me, that's when I feel closest to you. Because I know this. I can retell this story so many times. So, so what do you want? How do you, what do you want to like shut you up? Don't, no, no. <laughs> you don't have to shut up. But you don't need to explain to me. I understand. I get it. I'm going yeah, to the here next. Here we go. Here we go. You see, you, see <laughs> this? you see that? You have to win the argument. I understand it. You're wasting your time. Don't lecture to me again. I, okay, so I'm going right, to let me tell you when you... So here we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, you know what the problem between two of us is? Who is going to lecture to whom? That's the problem. <laughs> you know? I think that's true. Unfortunately, that's the thing, you I know? think that's true. Okay, my turn. Uh, yeah, I think it's your turn, yep. Describe the moment you realize I was not perfect. What do you mean the moment? How many moments in my life can I tell you no, about? But, no, there's probably one moment when you realize your parents are not perfect, and that's probably... Who would... Oh, yeah. You tell me. Probably something around, like, if you love us so much, why don't you spend quality time with us? Some, something around that, when I realize, okay, he's not perfect. I, that, that was another painful time. I think you were sitting on the sofa with... Yeah. And you were saying, Daddy, spend more time with us. Time is flying. Very soon we are going to leave. You were still in high school, I think. We are soon we are going to leave and we are going to go to college. We are not going to see you anymore. Please spend our more with us. And I said, what do you want? I really didn't know what you wanted. I fly from all over the world to get home to be with you on the weekend, to be your coach. 
I give you all the time when I'm in town. I, what else? I really did not know what you want from me. Mm -hmm. But I know now after writing the book, because when I wrote the book, it was very psychotherapeutic mm. to me. I was in town, but I was not with you. Yeah. My mind was somewhere else. And what you were asking is, be present, see us, be with us. And I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. That was my mistake. OK, how have I surprised you most as a father that you never expected? Yeah, really, I didn't expect you to be so dedicated to the family and to the children and to be at home, always explaining, you know, not being tough with them like I was, not being angry with them like I used to be, being 180 degrees different from me. I was, I'm, I'm truly impressed. Mm. It is a big, 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 good surprise for me. No, I love them very much. I love my family. I love my family very much. I'm very lucky. You are. I'm very lucky. I found a good. I got a good little tribe. Yes, you do. And I don't want to. I don't like being away from them. Very good. Yeah. So, thanks, Paul. My turn. Yeah. What is the mistake you think I made as a parent? that you don't want to repeat with your kids. Why? Mm. No, I think the anger thing still runs through my line. You know, and like, uh, I think I can remember, I, can I think there's three times when I really got angry at my son. You know, and I didn't, obviously I didn't, I didn't touch him, but um, but it doesn't matter, energetically, I was angry at him. It comes out, the energy comes out, you know, and I think, like the fear is not just my own, it's like lineage. So is that anger that I need to heal so that it doesn't continue into my kids, that, that pattern, that is where I need work. What I would like to share with you, maybe it will help you or whoever is watching this video, that my insight is that anger comes from fear. So if you can stop when you're angry and say, what do you fear? And then process that fear in your mind you will not be angry. Yeah, but fear can also stem from shame. How, tell me more. Shame, it's your reaction to shame. Shame is a very deep, sensitive spot to feel. And so it comes out. Okay, my turn. No, my turn. What do you want happiness to look like for your grandkids? That's a good question. That they will live their passion, like I did. I, I, I never worked a day in my life. I love what they do so much that it's addictive. That's why I'm not available. It's, yeah. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to the dopamine. I get tremendous dopamine from my work. That they will love what they do. They will have no fear. And they will be surrounded by love, which I never had. Your turn. After I'm gone, what is something about me you will always carry with you? Um, integrity for my passion and uh, Always, always looking to add value and make the most of myself and not waste my fucking time, you know? I think that's it. It's like, how am I offering value? How am I making the most of myself? Tikkun olam, tikkun olam, tikkun olam. Ah, what's something you've always wanted to tell me but haven't yet? But I'm sorry it was not enough with you, that there should have been more. No, should have. <sighs> yes, it should. I... <sighs> I should have listened to you when you said, Daddy, baby is worth more. We are soon going to be leaving. And now I see all at once you are gone. You have your own family. And I look back and I said, all the other things I did are zero in comparison to what I lost. 
but I lost this. Oh my God. And that's something that I'm sorry about. But I couldn't help it. I mean, I have no remorse. Yes. At that time, that's who I was. You know, we are all smarter now, you know, huh, looking back. But if anybody can learn from this, is <sighs> spending time. You can always make money. You can always make a career, but you cannot always spend the time with your children because they outgrow and they live. I should have. Mm. And you're doing the right thing. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, man. Hey, if you are watching that video and you want to ask those questions to your family, visit theskindeep.com shop to get the and family edition.